Good afternoon and welcome to Windhoek. Now it's my about second week here and it's finally time for a first impressions video. Yes. <laughs> my first encounter with Namibian culture was right at the airport. I've never met airport officials that laid back. They were actually smiling, they took their time with the papers and they were chatting to each other and all that. I then took a taxi, a white taxi here to my guest house. Most of the cars here are white, that's because of the scorching uh, heat. And actually it's pretty cloudy today, but still. Uh, Namibia is in the southern hemisphere, so it's full-on summer here right now, which is very, very nice. But apart from the heat, um, Windhoek, the city of Windhoek seems like a fairly non-stereotypical African city. It's clean, it's organized, people are on their smartphones, the tap water is not very tasty but it's still potable and there is no Ebola. There was actually a funny moment at, um, at this orientation class I had at the school. Um, the students were taking turns introducing themselves to each other uh, and this one girl uh, said she's from Sierra Leone and the whole class went, whoa. But then she continued, but don't worry, I've lived in Windhoek already for four years, so I don't have a polo. And then the whole classroom, including the teachers, just burst out laughing. So, yeah, there's no Ebola here. Another thing that makes this place seem very non-African in a sense is the European influence that can be seen everywhere. Even the streets have German names. Um, I might live cells on the... I, I live on the Röntgenstraße. There's the most other guests are from Germany. Hello. In addition to the Germans, there are uh, various other European nationalities here and a bunch of um, African peoples, uh, ethnic groups. Um, there are Hereros, Namas, Ovambos, uh, Damaras, who have these cool uh, clicking sounds in their language. On top of that, you have lots of Chinese here who live in a Chinatown somewhere in the north of the city. I have to pay a visit there too at some point. Culturally, I don't feel like being that far away from home. Um, they have the same movies, the same music, the, the same TV shows here as in Finland. Um, and I've traveled in rural Vietnam where uh, the locals didn't know uh, pop icons like Elvis Presley or the Beatles. So it's nothing like that over here. But I do have to point out this one um, cultural difference, which might be a bit of a cliche. It's the African friendliness. The people here, uh, they come to introduce themselves to me and they come to chat to me after class. They just seem more friendly and laid back in many ways. Namibians also know how to dance. It was my first time out and we went to this hip hop club and uh, one of us, one of the exchange students actually was a, like a full time ballet dancing student. And one Namibian girl went to her and told her that she was the only white person in the whole club who knew how to dance. <laughs> but on the, on the contrary to all the happiness and friendliness, uh, me and the other exchange students have been warned not to walk outside after dark or to avoid taking taxis a, a, alone in the night time because the, there's a high chance of getting robbed. I just read in the newspaper the other day that the local police force is swamped by the crime happening here. As you can see, even on this street, there's all kinds of safety measurements in place here. There's two meter um, tall walls with electric fence on top of them and guard dogs and guards and everything. Uh, take a look at this place. This is the This is the residence of the ambassador of the People's Republic of China. And to me it looks more like some kind of a military base. Can you bury it? Can you stick it in the... <laughs> but despite all the uh, safety measurements, still uh, just this week, uh, some 
burglars were able to break into my guest house and steal laptops from uh, from these German German guys. So you got to be careful here. All right, seems like the sun is coming out of the clouds too. And got to head back to my guest house anyways. I'm hungry. Um, but on my first day here, I was told that this street and these streets here are just a bubble for the rich and privileged people, which is probably true. And I would like to break out from this bubble, but it's difficult with no contacts. Um, well, I got my classmates. I want to get to know them better. And, and then uh, the other weekend we went, we went out to, for a few beers. Dienstag. Finland is coming to Namibia. And I got some numbers from these rapper dudes and I might contact them later on. But anyways, we'll see what the future brings. On an other note, I apologize for my slow video making speed. It's, it takes time to settle down in a new place and I was a little bit sick and just recently I ate something bad and being quite busy in general so I apologize for that. The next video will be from my weekend trip to Svakupmund which is a city on the edge of a desert. Thanks for watching and see you next time.